GX again today, of course, and uh, somebody's stuck uh, off-road in the desert. We're in the Mojave Desert, if you didn't know. So I think they're in a 99 Suzuki Viterra, and they're stuck in soft sand, so I'm going to attempt to pull them out. It's getting dark here. It was hot all day, and the guy says he's out of water, so I got some... Uh, water in the plastic bag. There's water down there and some uh, electrolyte to bring him. You know, like a powder electrolyte, like Gatorade. Because he says he's been digging all day. And it's, again, it's about to get dark. It's almost 7 o'clock. So, we're going to head uh, out to find him. Turn right. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I don't get stuck. Yeah, hopefully I don't get stuck, too. <laughs> and that does happen, so uh, I'm always going into these things uh, respectful of uh, the situations. Anyway, here we are. It's uh, off in the desert here, as you can see on the dirt. And I don't know if this is a trail, a proper trail yeah, or not, whatever. It's just, uh, it's, it's in the desert, and this is soft sand. And uh, I'm looking for him. Uh, he's supposed to be around here. He uh, sent uh, GPS coordinates, uh, aka a Google pin of his coordinates. So it's good that he had his uh, cell phone and was able to send a SOS to ask people for help. Um, that's always, of course, good to do. And, uh, yeah. So I'm assessing the situation. And uh, he's stuck in a Suzuki. And we're going to talk about this Suzuki in a minute here because it's actually an interesting vehicle. It's not a crossover like you, you might think based on the way it looks. It's actually an old school proper SUV. Again, we're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, so don't be surprised that he's he's out here off-roading in that thing. Because I'd do the same thing <laughs> if I had that vehicle too. I'd be taking it out in these uh, in the desert here, uh, getting stuck in it uh, myself. Uh, so we're getting set up here and just assess assessing the situation. I gave him some water uh, to help him with uh, dehydration he'd been out there digging all day so of course always bring water uh, powdered electrolyte anything to replenish your electrolytes if possible but you can see here that he's uh sunken deep and the crater is all the the digging that he did which is the first step out here always is you break out the shovel and you start digging there's nothing to winch to around here, as you can see. And no, the sand winch attachment <laughs> doesn't work. It's a gimmick. Does not work. So there's nothing to winch to. So what what works out here is digging, number one, and then being pulled out. And that may be different if you live in a place with trees. But out here, it's digging and pulling. That's the uh, methodology. And uh, that sand is deep. So we're going to get set up here. And we'll talk about the setup and get him pulled out. Hopefully here. Momentarily if everything goes smoothly. But that's soft sand, not beach sand. And we're also going to talk about that in a second too. <laughs> not the same. Beach sand and uh, desert sand are different. That's the kinetic rope body on frame let's talk about this vehicle that's the suzuki that he's in now this thing is a proper suv this is when suvs looked small and nimble like little jeep wranglers but this is a body on frame four-wheel drive vehicle it even has low range so if you're wondering what's the little tiny crossover doing out there no it's it's this is an old school suzuki suv low range four-wheel drive and um, it's got recovery points. It's got a V6 engine in that tiny little thing, too. Okay, so this was a proper 
SUV. As you can see, this is a back in the day when they came out video. And this thing was meant to go off road. This is before the introduction of bigness in the uh, in the market, the specifically American market. But that was an SUV, so that's why he's out off roading because it was meant to be off roading. And this is what happens when you off road. You eventually get stuck. It's just uh, part of the fun, right? So uh, the other part of the fun is getting them out. So I'm wiggling on the recovery point. That's always a good. Uh, thing to do so I'm, I'm wiggling as hard as I can by hand to make sure it's not rusted off or something weird going on um, because we don't want that thing flying off once we go pulling on it so always real world your recovery points don't assume that they're installed properly or in the case of this vehicle that it's welded on and hasn't rusted off check it you know just just triple check everything and so I shook that rear recovery point by his, his uh, tailpipe and he has them on the front too he's got two on the front two hooks on the front so this again this is a proper uh, off-roading suv that he's in that's suzuki but i i wiggled him up and down enough to make the car shake and so we're going to give it a go we're basically uh a kinetic rope pull here back up a little bit uh that's what i'm doing backing up and then Boom, it jumps right out like a jackrabbit <laughs> and he's out so the star of the show out here is the kinetic rope they shine in soft surfaces or muddy surfaces where static pull would be a little bit more tricky there's more shock there's more drama and the big thing is you can't get your your momentum by backing up a little bit and and uh, you know hitting the gas forward like I did there that extra momentum allows you to build up speed which is important on a sandy surface so uh, if none of that rambling made sense these things are just the real deal they're worth the hype everybody talks about them but some people may not understand why would you pick that over a static rope? A static rope would allow me to back up and yank it forward there, but it is uh, going to be a lot more shocking once that, you know, one, once things get going. You get what I'm rambling. <laughs> you know, once we start pulling, it's just a, it's just a sudden shock versus the kinetic rope which is going to uh, bring on that shock much more gradually and everything just magically works as you saw there alright so he's out and that's it but that was a big deep hole that he was in as you saw I'm going to show you again just how deep it was <laughs> but he's out here digging in this, this is deep so he was doing a lot of digging today, but he hit the soft stuff. Um, a lot of people drive on beach sometimes say, what's well, I drive on the beach all the time, what's the big deal? The sand is different in the desert. Beach sand is angular, gritty, whereas uh, beach or excuse me, desert sand is like ball bearings and soft, so you don't get any traction. Anyway, I'm going to pack it up and uh, hopefully that's it. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great, great day.